Okay, hello everyone. Um, to continue with the Lauren Reality th Show, Lauren Reality Show, the Lauren Reality Show theme. We're gonna watch the uh, vegan burrito episode. And over here, I saw that I forgot that he's actually got a shake weight video. God, I, I don't know if I can do that today. It's very late at this uh, time, but we'll probably do that another day, real soon here. So. Uh, let's get rolling. The vegan burrito. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> already? Okay, I've done this one already, but he's got the uh, black tank top and uh, bright blue jeans on. So, could be the same day as the other video I mentioned that on. Uh, could not be. Um, I'd like to start out, though, with pointing out that this looks familiar. This uh, this looks like the uh, tofu package he used in the barbecue pork video. And uh, it looks like he's already prepared with a knife. So he is learning as he goes. So this seems sequentially after the barbecue pork video. So let's move on. Welcome to the Lawn Reality Show. We're back again now that I'm over my cold and <laughs> everything's back in order. Today we're going to make... Okay. Uh, vegan burrito. Okay. And got my tofu right here. <laughs> you want to take? Oh some, no! Some paper towel. He's got the fucking like. Oh, he's got that thick pile of paper towel again. I I can't believe I didn't notice that at first. That's like he uses a whole fucking roll of paper towel each time. He he's gotta have killed like at least a tree by now with all of these tofu recipes he's done. God damn it. Towels, I've got my rack right here, like set my tofu on, towel underneath it, it's going to drain out a lot of water. <laughs> and i my bowl here so I can just drain it right here. But, um, so, so, you know, uh, I'm using <laughs> the soy. He's mini syllable in it up in this video already. So, yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Organic extra firm tofu. Okay. This block is a 14 ounce block. He didn't mention that last time, I don't think, so that's a little more informative. Let's get that open this water out of here. <sighs> mm. <laughs> Coughs right on it. That's good. <laughs> Here. I'm going to be drained by the time I finish this series. It's just like, I, I know that we criticize this guy a lot just for being boring, but good lord, I, I'm, I've pointed it out in each video, but I'm amazed by the amount of time he spends just silently... Opening things, closing things, moving things from one vessel to another. No edits, no nothing. He's not spicing it up. The few stories he's got for us, it's, it's you know, typical Lauren stories like, hey, my, my mom thought this was good, so therefore it's good, and I'm giving it a shot, or my fucking coach thing, you know, what... There's, I, I, I'm kind of fighting with myself on this one. I don't know what I expect out of these, but I told myself I'm going to do all of the Lorne reality shows, so so we got to pull through. I'm on the vegan burrito. We, we'll get through it. Ugh. That's so much fucking paper towel. If he gets the scotch tape out again. Garbage. I got scotch tape right here. <laughs> Fuck off! Tape. Fuck off! He said literally, he literally said scotch tape. I, I was not expecting that. Fuck right off. That's funny. Oh my Wrap god. It up just like this. <laughs> I got the scotch tape. <laughs> How has nobody been quoting that in this community? <laughs> Why is he shaking? Why is he shaking? Go back. Watch it. Watch his uh, his hand right here. Take this it, wrap hand. it up just like this. <laughs> he's shaking like he's like. There's a lot of pressure behind this. 
Like there's a spring underneath. <laughs> Shaking. Oh god. Got the scotch tape here. As you can tell, I don't wrap gifts very well either. He made the same fucking joke in the barbecue pork episode. I'm definitely Shh. not a rapper. Okay. Get it? Definitely not a rapper. I'm gonna turn this fan off. I I don't get it. Was that a joke at all? Was that a joke? He, he said, "Get it." Definitely not a rapper. I'm gonna go back. I don't I don't know if I understood that. Definitely not a rapper. Okay. Get it? Definitely not a rapper. I I, I don't get it. Off. Is that like I I don't I don't know what to do with that. Take this end right here. That's going to perplex me for the rest of this evening. Get it? We'll Definitely not a rapper. <laughs> We're just watching a stupid man tape. Paper on there. Tape paper towel to a block of tofu. This is what this video's content is so far. How, how far are we in? Three minutes. Not exactly Chef Ramsay. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah. Alright. We'll take inside our tofu right here. Yeah, put a book on top of tofu. <laughs> Same fucking dictionary. Oh, you can't see that real well. Let me pull that over here. That dictionary to get a, put a book on, a book on wow. top of tofu. That dictionary is right, getting more use out of these episodes on top of my book. than it has in years. What that's going to do is it's going to squeeze the water out of the tofu because you want to squeeze as much water out of the tofu. What, happen, what happens when you squeeze the water out of the tofu is that it pushes that water out so that when you're when we're doing our next step and they have the tofu cut up and and in the pan uh, frying, well, the butter will absorb into the tofu along with the flavor of of all the other stuff that's going to be that the tofu is going to be in with. So we're taking just leave that right there for right now. And again, I don't know fucking anything about tofu or how to prepare it, but. For any of you vegan cooks in this community, do you often keep a 20-pound weight just in the kitchen nearby for preparation reasons whenever you're making your vegan burrito? Um, it seems a little cumbersome to have this nearby. Again, the motherfucker struggles to like have the right fork or knife ready and available when he films the videos. But he definitely has his fucking dirty fucking old weight right next to him with his old dictionary there. Also, I don't know where he would have gotten that. I speculated in one episode that he may have gotten that from like a relative or just like one of these yard sales. I, I can't think of any reason he would have a dictionary in the trailer. If anyone has a hypothesis, perhaps, uh, feel free to chime in because... That is one of the biggest mysteries I think this community hasn't yet addressed, is why does he have that dictionary? That really perplexes me. I'll push it over here so it's out of the way. Out of the way. And you should usually have the tofu set like, set like that for about four hours. It's probably good. Um, if you want to get a meteor flavor out of it, you put the tofu in the, in the freezer the night before, and then when you come out and it thaws out, take and drain it all out of the all the all the water out of it. And it gives it a a more meteor texture. Um, right now we'll let that sit, and we'll be back when we're ready to do to do the rest of the stuff. And the pause. Blue screen. Come on, blue screen. Wow, that's a long one. He blinks twice. He's looking at the screen. I'm kind of impressed he has a wireless mouse. He doesn't have a good camera, but he has a wireless mouse. Oof, boy. And he's mentioned the freezer tip a few times now in these videos. And, like, 
again, it's just, I just, I, it does nothing for me. Like, at this point, it's like, yeah, he's repeating the same shit because he's a fucking idiot and because he doesn't know fucking anything about vegan cooking for himself. Uh, his coach he has told him how to do this, and um, he's doing it again to be impressive or whatever. But I don't know. I'm I'm now thinking about it from the outside perspective. Like, do you think anyone outside of this community has watched this video and actually been like, you know what, goddamn, that's a really good, you know, tutorial on how to make a vegan burrito. Like, honestly, like I'd really love to know if any one person ever has made one of the recipes that Lauren has made on this channel. Like, I, I don't even want to say, I was about to say, I doubt it, but I don't know. That'd be, like, there's a ton of views on these, probably because of us, but I don't know. It's a big old there's world. one thing you need to do before you buy anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. Okay. Watch this. I okay, let's just talk about this, I guess. I wasn't expecting that. His very frightened looking dogs on some very dirty couches with no contacts, no text. At least in that one video where he shows that goddamn moose, there's text saying, hey, uh, you know, the moose walked by my house. Isn't that cool? Whatever. This is just dirty couches. Like, this literally looks like a picture they'd preface with uh, the viewer with before you watch an episode of Hoarders. Look at all those fucking nasty blankets. There's one of the weights over there. And then his TV that can only play Little House on the Prairie. God damn. Is he going to comment on it? We're back, everyone. <laughs> everyone. What we're going to do now. Just take and get this tofu ready. I want to see if he did what I suspected in that last video. If he was trying to be impressive by picking up that weight. We're gonna do an L. Kinda. I, I don't buy it. This That's whatever. Ready. <clears throat> I thought he was gonna like show off and be like, yeah, look at that shit. Undo the tofu mess. At least he's not fucking cutting scotch tape for five minutes. Scotch tape. So gross, and then all that goes right in the garbage. Man, tofu is an expensive thing to make. Okay, those poor dogs, they're like, Can you just fucking feed us? Hang on, what did he do with his hands there? Hang on, he did something weird when he moved that little grate right there. Hang on. What, what the hell is that? That was pointless. What we're going to do is take a cutting board and a tofu, and we're going to cut this up into one inch squares. Into small pieces. We'll be cutting it up a lot thinner than, <clears throat> a lot smaller than what we did with the. Uh, with the other tofu recipe. Oh, one other tofu recipe. So I'm right. I'm watching this roughly in sequential order. That's good. The lore of the Lorne, Lorne Armstrong YouTube channel. God damn, he's a boring motherfucker. Don't mean to have so much silence, but in order to get a cap. That's the one time you I'm comment sure on the silence? The process. Oh, don't do that. That'd be bad. You goofball. Don't want to do that. It's almost weirder that he acknowledges the silence right now. Bless my soul, what's wrong with me? Holy I shit. I can't stand on my own two feet. Da -da 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 I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yay. Oh. Yay. Yay. Holy. All sugar. I. Holy fuck. I really wasn't expecting that. Oh my fucking god. That, that literally like made my like whole upper body like kind of freeze a little bit. 
Holy shit. I know he does singing videos. I know he does that, but it's so awkward for him to be like this, like, hey, I'm trying things out. I'm kind of humble. I'm trying something new kind of persona. Like, I'm a little shy about it. Like, he's kind of pulling that off. And then he, like, just fucking bursts into song while he's cutting up fucking food he doesn't like. While he's in a tank top showing off his muscles. That's really fucking weird. Oh my god, that's that's really and I hated his little smirk at the camera there. Let's uh let's enjoy that one more time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh god. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Stop with that. I that little shimmy. He is a piece of fucking human shit for that. That little shimmy is the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh my fucking god. Also, he's kind of got a little pear shape going on here too, so his comment in that uh one video where he's like, Oh, I'm getting a little fat, but not really. You might wanna you might wanna watch watch your uh slick moves in this oh, one. Oh too good. Oh, god that was right, throw a little action in there. Action. Throw a little action in there. Ugh. He's he's definitely the type of guy who like We'll we'll call Ramona after this gets posted and be like, hey, "Did you did you like it? I did a little dance." Can't remember the words of all song, so I wish you did. Go with what I had. Ugh. All right, now I, I I don't really have conclusive thoughts about that. That really caught me off guard. I'm doing this late in the day, and I'm pretty tired anyway. And I was kind of like, "Hey, let's let's get another one of these done while I still got some energy left in me." That that I wasn't expecting. So, <laughs> if I uh, don't seem like that, that woke me up a little bit. That that woke me up. So that should set the tone for the rest of this video. We're gonna take and turn our frying pan on. Oh God! I'm on sugar bomb. Take the butter. Now, before, people was asking about the ingredients of the butter. And Were the they? Left, so. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. At least it wasn't into the fucking food the this ingredients time. Ingredients for this is, well, th this is earth-balanced butter. Okay. Non-GMO, vegan, soy-free. So you can see it. It says right on it, vegan. I can't see that. Let's stick this right up to the camera so everybody can read that. I know that's hard to read right there, but... This was the thumbnail, too. This fuzzy image. Like, the best we got is a backwards text and then fuzzy... Yeah, you can't read any of that. That says vegan. Oh, good. So, well, I don't have to read the ingredients when it says vegan right on it. He's such a boring-looking dude, too. I just... It really just struck me, like... He's really foul-looking, like, in the face. Like, he's just... Kind of got that, you know, melted candle look going on. Big schnoz, like, just just not not a, not a handsome fella. But also, like, he's kind of trying to, like, show off the his big old arms here with the tank top, which you know he's doing on purpose. Like, I kind of tried to, like, imagine him with, like, if he had tattoos at all. And, like, I think knowing him, he'd pick the worst ones. And he'd ha he'd have to be like pretentious about it and be like they gotta have a meaning, they they gotta be meaningful to me and my my wife and uh, and my family. It'd be something like that, like Mother Gwen's name or or fucking, you know. The only one he said he wanted to get was uh one of the iterations of Casey. He wanted to get it right above his right above my penis. He wanted to get Casey's name down there. Um, but yeah, I I. I can't even picture that. Like, he just is a weird, weirdly put together fella. Mm -hmm. so what we're gonna do? Take and put our butter in here. Ugh, not, he uses not, so much butter. Using a regular tablespoon. I'm just gonna guess it. You didn't even do the tablespoons right, though. Because why is that? This is the here the spoon that I have right here is actually. Pretty much a tablespoon anyway. Based on what? I'm putting four. Oops. <sighs> four tablespoons in, in there. Oh, 
Oh my god. Slide that out of the way. Pretty much tablespoon. Because it's a spoon? Yeah. I, I gotta let oh, that one go. Oh, that one's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, we'll use a wooden spoon for that. Ah, my favorite part. Him swooshing shit around in a pan aimlessly. Good. That oh, good. That's so much fucking butter, dude. If only this could have taken his heart out. It's probably a quarter tablespoon is actually probably too much. Probably <laughs> maybe three tablespoons. <laughs> I really don't want that much butter. Yeah, just throw a food. cigarette in there while you're at it. Help it out with the taste some, but that's, <laughs> that's quite a bit of butter, but sorry. So, <laughs> sorry? Why is he saying sorry? Food. And we're gonna put our tofu in here. You gonna sing another song? Good time. Oh, another good. Great food. Real friends. Advertisement. The simple things in life. Good. Stir that around. I forgot this was a burrito video. I just looked at the title. Get it all broken up and everything. Sticking together too much. <laughs> I am. Actually, I guess once you put the tofu, get the tofu in there. I guess four tablespoons really is pretty much what you want to use. That's gonna put a lot of tofu in there and get all absorb into it. And I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Like, I'm fucking tired and some of my sentences didn't sound crystal clear, but goddamn, he just went to the to the spoon, to the to the to tofu, and get real good. He's just. Uh, I gotta let it go. He's just whacking the pan with that fucking spoon. Hmm. If he mentions vegan co coach again, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a bath with so the toast. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just make it so this is brown, kind of medium brown. That's what's all being done, being broke up. Uh huh. Well, no songs. To keep us entertained during this silence, bud. None of that. I don't even know what that song was. Is it like an Elvis song? I'm all shook up. He was kind of doing it like it was Elvis. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah, you wouldn't want that, dummy. While we're doing that. Take out a shell. A shell? Oh, a taco shell. <laughs> right on the table. <laughs> and he brushes some shit off the side. Look at our. Oh, our that hobby. table's filthy. The type of guacamole I'm using on this is holy. It's called holy guacamole. <laughs> All natural. Fuck off. Fuck off. He's already got a sing-song voice. He's already got a ridiculous sing-song voice. And he goes, what I'm using here is holy guacamole. Oh, my God. It's classic. <laughs> Camera so everyone, everyone can see it. <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> oh. Again, he, I like that he picks and chooses things that he that he has to convey to us. It's clear. It's, it's literally all natural. The ingredients <laughs> are Haas avocados, vinegar, jalapeno pepper, dehydrated onions, salt, and granulated garlic. So it's literally all natural. Okay. Literally all natural. Let's get this open. Ah. Uh, uh. That's a fucking lot of guacamole. 
I've, I've noticed I've not had a lot of clever commentary this episode, but again, it's kind of just continuing the themes we've seen in other episodes, so... Whew, I, got, I gotta collect myself. That, that was a little surprising. <laughs> the singing and now... <laughs> And now describing the the guacamole box is a little uh, a little too much for me. Let's let's get rolling here. Come on! It's literally all natural. Yeah, don't wash your hands. <laughs> don't waste your time with that. <laughs> I really hate that he puts that right on the table. Uh-huh. What this is going to do is it's going to help help it all uh, well, along with the taste. It's also going to help it stick to the tortilla. So, <laughs> um, this, this also, you can also use this uh, for a taco, too. Use the same ingredients for a taco. <laughs> That's a good tip. Another good tip. That was Warning to everybody, I'm not big on burritos. I've never no? tried this burrito before, so this is going to be my first time trying this. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't lobby my vote earlier for uh, what his reaction is going to be. <clears throat> I think he's used the surprisingly pretty good thing a few times. Um, I was kind of against it at, uh, when I first started thinking about this. But I think he's going to say it again. I really do. I, I think he's going to, at some point during the tasting, going to say, surprisingly, pretty good. Um, do I think food's going to fall out of his mouth, though? Um, I think I, I think so. With how little he claimed to have chopped those up, I think, I, I think a little piece of tofu is going to fall out of his mouth when he takes a bite. That's my guess. Um, and that that's all I'm locking in right now. So anything else is a bonus. Let's see how I like it. It's also fucking meaningless whenever he's like, oh, I'm not usually partial to that. Who fucking cares, dude? Well, again, he thinks people care, so. <clears throat> all right, I think that's enough guacamole. He ruins everything. Like, I really like guacamole, but I'm kind of looking at that with a side eye now. What, oh, is that the cheese? Is he going to list off the ingredients for that, too? And what's that? Like, Campbell's? Oh, that's salsa. Probably. Other stuff opened up here. Other stuff. Salsa? I'm not real big on salsa either. <laughs> So the only thing I'm actually really big on that's going into this is, or the, that I like, is the cheese, the um, shell, <clears throat> and the tofu. Not much for Mexican, so we'll except for Emma. Hands out for me. he's ever entertained like like had people over at this trailer and like made them like a meal like like he's definitely capable of setting out like chips and dip like any fucking idiot can do that but like based on this i don't think so i think he's probably bought like store-bought bullshit i would say maybe maybe he's like made burgers because we know based on the chat log that he went to like a barbecue once so that seems like in his realm of understanding um but like i he can barely cook a meal for himself and he always cooks like the biggest portion just for him it does not appear that he's ever entertained at uh the trailer of failure <clears throat> And if so, that boy, that was a hell of an evening. I was just watching a thing on TV about Saturday Night Fever. 
Okay. We haven't had a story in a minute, so Saturday Night Fever. Fever. Fervor. <laughs> Is that what I said? Fervor? God, it's late here. Um... I have no fucking idea what this is going to be, but he's already got his signature arm, like, just laying out, like, in the middle of the air to the side. Boring body language. I was watching a story on TV. All right, let's hear it. I don't, I don't got a guess. I wish I did. And that was the anniversary of Saturday Night Fever, and I used to, I used to like the Bee Gees quite a bit. Especially Andy Gibb. He was a really good singer. The song he sang with Olivia Newton-John. Oh, he's bringing up his sweetheart, Olivia Newton-John, too. Oh, God. God, that's... Oh. Really, all of the fucking Lornography universe is weirdly connected. It all, it always comes back to something. There's bits and pieces. Olivia Newton-John, I always thought she was awesome. Oh, God. I didn't know he liked the Bee Gees, though. That, that's a new one on me. How deep is your love? I love that song. <laughs> How deep is your love? <laughs> you oh, fuck off! I was I was literally about to joke that he was going to start singing again. Oh, go fuck yourself. In the morning sun I feel you touch me in the pouring rain Is this the Bee Gees? In the moment that you wander far from oh, me, shut I want to feel you in my arms again. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's enough singing. Yeah, thank, dude, thanks. I, I like that he was, like, being humble about that. Like, oh, I'm j I just can't stop singing. You know me? That's enough. I've, you know, I'll, I'll be singing for hours if, if I'm not getting back to this fucking dirty shell in front of me. Waiting on the... Tofu to be done. So we'll take a little pause right here and yep. be back when the tofu is done. Done. Once you meet with a TurboTax expert who will do your taxes <clears throat> for you, I'm amazed he's still getting ads off taxes. of this shit. Two ads. Purdue University Global. I'm cutting this. If I don't cut it, sorry. That dog. That poor fucking dog. Oh, God, they deserve a better life. Back again. Tofu was done. And this is what you want it to look like. And, by the way, I was wrong on that song um, by Andy Gibbs, How Deep Is Your Love. Olivia Newton does not sing that song with him. She sings the song suddenly with Andy Gibbs. And I like that song also. <laughs> okay, but again. That right there is how dark you want it to look. Okay, I also, I, I think it was in the fruit juice video. I don't know how this this joke slipped me, but fuck it, it's the obvious one. I've made I've made like a, a bajillion comments already on the this is getting hot, how come line. But fucking, I saw some comments in the other videos that were like, uh, I gotta hold it up to the camera so you can get a good look at it or something like that. That how did that one miss me? How that that's such a great one with how often he fucking does this. Give me a break. Oh God, kudos to this community. That one, that, shame on me. I should have been able to spot that one. He is. Just... So what we're gonna do? Ah. Uh. Gonna take some of our tofu. Right on the, the shell. I wish I knew more about tofu yeah, to criticize that, but I don't on know plate enough. Because when I taste it, if any of the salsa drips out, I want it to land on a plate. Wait, 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 wait. We're going back on that. What's his justification for a plate now? I want it to land on a plate. No, oh, fuck off. I'm sorry. The shell. What about the shell? Uh, yeah, I put my shell on a plate because... When I taste it, if any of the salsa drips out, I want it to land on a plate. <laughs> okay. He's saying that like it, it it's weird, like, like the audience is going to think it's strange that he's getting a plate out <laughs> when he puts the salsa on, like he's putting on airs, like he's being too fancy, too clean, <laughs> as opposed to just fucking eating it fresh off the table. Wow, alright, whatever. 
Oh, okay. Hasn't stopped you before. And yes, people, I realize I coughed a couple times. I'm still hanging on to a little, little cold, so forgive me. It doesn't bother me because I'm the only one eating this right here. Fuck right off. Holy shit. I, I can't think of a more direct link to TCAP than, than cough hanging on to him a little bit. Oh, my God. That that is fucking hilarious. So either someone has pointed out to him in a previous video that he's coughing right in the food, or he's just like being like, "Hey, I I get it." But like, uh, there's so many angles to take here. I was about to say a few other things, but it's like it, it, these are the obvious ones. We'll take put some sauce on here. <laughs> so he's justifying coughing on his food, basically. I know. I know some people are criticizing small things that I do. Uh, I'm not a professional at this. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, he's re he's really showing us, man. He's really uh, you know what? Doesn't matter to him. I'm gonna keep on making these dish these small things. Oh I hope gosh. Everybody realizes that. He's just having fun. Come on. This is a fun thing for me to do. Yeah. I'll never we'll learn. I'll salsa. never improve. We're gonna take you use a little bit of diet cheese. Diet cheese. Diet cheese. It's dairy free. <laughs> and it's dairy lactose and casein free. <laughs> that didn't sound real. I don't know if that's a real thing. Casein free? I've never heard that term before. But that doesn't sound real. And soy free, cholesterol free. <clears throat> the ingredients in, the, in this diet cheese <laughs> is filtered water, tapioca flour, Non-GMO expeller pressure canola and or non-GMO expeller press yeah. safflower oil, <laughs> coconut oil, pea protein, salt, inactive yeast, vegan natural flavors, vegetable <sighs> glycerin. Did he say glycerin? Fuck right off. Natural flavors, vegetable glycerin. Glycerin. Gluten, gum, yeast <laughs> extract, citric acid, tomato <laughs> for color, titanium dioxide. It's a really small thing. That's the occurring mineral. So this right here, this cheese right here. Yeah, show us. It is, it's vegan cheese. <laughs> it's backwards. I know, I know the camera's probably reading it backwards, so you'll have to read it backwards. But it's, it's called Dio. I, I, I don't got anything for that. You got to read it backwards. What an entertainer, this guy. It's a shame he didn't make it in country music. Some cheese over the top of this. Oh, God. Imagine. Can you imagine, like, if he actually made it in country music and he was famous and then got caught later? Because he inevitably would have been caught doing some awful, awful, like, chat room escapades with underage girls. Like, he'd probably be doing this. He'd probably keep getting catfish. I don't think he. I don't. I don't think in any alternate reality of Lorne Armstrong that he wouldn't get in trouble for doing something. So it's not even really worth talking about. Some version of the Lorne reality show would happen. Some version of Ramona would happen. And perhaps that's a topic for another video because there's there's too much we can do with that. So let's just move on with the you vegan can cheese. Just, if you want to, just put it in the microwave for 20, 20 seconds or so. You can melt the cheese. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. I really don't uh, like cheese on put, tacos. You can put guacamole but... on. You can put the cheese on the shell and or burritos. put it in the microwave for 20, 20 30 seconds and, and melt it. And that will help everything stick to the... To the uh, shell now I'm, I'm putting a little extra cheese because <laughs> i know there's stuff in there that i'm not big on <laughs> what and guacamole this is my first time trying any any guacamole at all so let's cover it up <laughs> so that's a lot of cheese and all that got my glass of fruit juice right here 
Is that the fruit juice from the other video? Oh, was this done on the same day as the fruit juice video? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, he was wearing the black tank top in another video. I I bet it is. I bet it is. Wow, what a callback. Take a roll this up. This is a big burrito. All right, lock in your guesses now as to what he's going to say. I think I might have put too much stuff in it, but. Oh. But. Let's give her a whirl. Stop calling things the her. Going fired on me. <laughs> I thought he was going to chomp it in the Not middle. Not a professional burrito either, either, either. A professional burrito either. Go fuck yourself. What do you mean? What do you mean by any of this shit? Oh, he eats it weird too. He's he's like digging in like a fu he's it's like he's backing up a dump truck into his mouth. That's weird. Mm. Mm. Grab a pit towel here. <laughs> I thought he was gonna just wash his hands. No, I don't like Normally, I don't like some of the stuff that's in there, but that's actually pretty good. Okay. He's going to wash it. what I'm going to be eating. Well, until it's gone. <laughs> Didn't he have some other comment like that? Like some quirky, uh, hey, I'm, I'm being a little silly comment in another video. It might have been the chicken pie. It might have been the first one I recorded where he was like, it's not going to last very long, so I'm going to eat the whole thing. Like, something like that. Like, it's just... Now he's going to scarf down fucking a whole cup of fruit pulp that he just blended. Yeah, it totally is. It totally is the fruit juice from that video. Look at that fucking purple color. Ugh. God, that's so much shit. Yeah, I'm surprised that I like that. It's very good. Okay, we, we got to count that. We got to count that. That... My guess counts. I'm surprised. Surprise is pretty good. That counts. It's not surprisingly pretty good, but it's pretty good, and I'm surprised by it. That's That seems fair. That's it for this week's show, everyone. <laughs> okay. Next week, um, not sure what next, next week's show is going to consist of yet, <laughs> but I guess we'll all find out next week. <laughs> Thank you, and... Um, Happy to be back doing shows again. It seems like I've uh, lost my voice before. At least now I got it back. I can do it again. Yeah, it's good. You can. We'll see you on next week's show. You can sing Bee Gees and Livy Newton John songs. Oh, wait. It's not a Livy Newton John. She does another song. All right. Well, let's see what the credits are. Special thanks to my vegan coach. So he does say it again. All right. Well, all right. The vegan burrito. Again, that one was kind of hard to follow. Uh oh someone made like chapters for this. Did that did that exist on YouTube when Lauren was making videos? Like the separating the video by chapters? I that I I haven't been making videos in that era, but wow. All right. Well. All right. Well. All right. Well, uh thanks for tuning in. I'm uh depending on the time here. Jeez, it's late here.